I've had, I had to deal with the DMV. So that's always fun. So I am running a little bit behind. Um, before I get started with anything, I have to say a special thank you to Andrew uh, Ritchie for definitely, definitely saving me this week. So I love and appreciate all of you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me um, reach monetization. Hey, get out of there. Hey, you. Ow, ow, ow. Left a cabinet open. Helps me reach monetization, which helps me complete my goals. Um, another thing I'm definitely trying. My channel almost went black. It did Wednesday. I do apologize for that immensely. Like I said... If you guys like what I do, please, please, please support me. I have my links in the description. I'm just setting up one more live stream. Oh, hey, hey there. What are we making? So today I am going to be making um, some mashed potatoes and steak because I have been craving steak like you would not believe. And I got home, I think it was Tuesday, from running errands. And I was so excited because there's two packs of steak in the fridge. And the steak was expired. And then it was like, I promised one of my friends um, a meal. And then we had ribs. It was like, it was just a mess. So let me get this stream up real quick and I will get started. Like I said, I apologize for running late. Things have been, things have been crazy over here. Okay. Let me get this stream. Okay, started this one. Um, also, if you guys have been wondering, I am running BSL. So if I get choppy, bear with me. That's why. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust you so you can see. I have a mess over here. Move my steak because I will get the steak going soon. <clears throat> so I have actually never made... Actually, that's a lie. I have. It's been years, though. I haven't made mashed potatoes from scratch in a long time. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can either cut up the potatoes or you can leave the potatoes whole. I've already washed these. Let me oil my board real quick. And I'm actually going to um, quarter my potatoes. I hope that helps them to cook a little faster. So... Oiling the board actually helps it a lot to protect it. And this board has already seen a lot of battles. So I'll get my phone. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice these potatoes. And then, hello, let me adjust this. And I need a knife. Someone wants to join as a guest. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slice these potatoes real quick. And love that. And I'm just quartering these potatoes. And I have no idea what just happened on my phone. So that stream might be out. We shall see though. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. I will remember that. Hold on. I don't want this stream out. Give me one sec, guys. I do apologize for this. So whoever did whatever on this threw my stream out. I'm not cool with that. So give me, give me a sec. I guess they got mad because they wanted to join my stream and I told them no. So I see how, <laughs> I see how people want to play that don't work with me. So, okay, add my description, telling people over here to join me on YouTube. Okay. 
So start that back up. <clears throat> Not sure what happened there, but that's how it goes. So I'm just quartering these potatoes and here in a bit, I'm trying to cut them evenly, but they're not going to be even. So I've also chosen red. Now you can use white and peel them or uh, brown potatoes, even red skins. I got the red for um, actually that pot roast that I did a while ago. And I really like the color. I think these are going to, hey, whatever you did, you killed my stream. Please don't do it again. Thank you. Um, I think these are going to make a really nice mashed potatoes. They're going to have some really cool color in them. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. Now I have five red potatoes that I cut up. I'm just going to throw these in the pots. Okay, next I have some fresh garlic and get that down some. And I actually forgot to grab my salt. Let me get that real quick. Sorry guys. So. I have a fresh ball of garlic. I'm going to pull three cloves off of it. Make sure you can see what I am doing. <clears throat> okay. Some fresh garlic. And, hmm, weird. Why does that one look yellow? I don't like the look of that one. It's yellow, so I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. It's garlic paper. Why are you trying to murder garlic paper? Oh my gosh. That looks better. Okay. Smash the garlic and it peels easily. And I'm not totally worried about, um, that's yellow too. Is this bald bad? Because uh, I can't imagine garlic going bad. Okay, that's the third piece that's yellow. I'm not, I, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's yellow. Let me try another bowl. If not, we got to go to plan C. So. I'm wondering if it got moist, which I keep my garlic up so it doesn't get anything in it. Let's try three cloves off of this one. And what you do is you just peel it off. Sometimes it's, it likes to be difficult. So three cloves of garlic, a lot of paper. So let me try this. That's better. Okay, this is white. That's how garlic should work. Look, not, um, let me see if I can size. See the yellow in this one? This one's white. That's better. I think my bulb went bad. Not sure how. When one hanging right next to it was perfectly fine. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the, um, knife on top of the garlic and I'm just smashing it so that it um the paper pulls off easier I could grab my hammer but as I've learned with my hammer I've launched garlic across my kitchen and I don't feel like chasing garlic right now so <clears throat> la 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 okay so I got my garlic almost peeled and then I'm going to um, just cut the tips off because I don't like that little rooty tip. Scrape that into the sink. It's the kid's problem later. Okay. And then I'm just going to throw these whole garlic cloves in with the potatoes. And then I'm going to take cold water. You want to take cold water because um, you want everything to heat up evenly. 
and fill it just over the potatoes and start boiling it. Okay, so here's my red potatoes and garlic, which the cloves are floating, I'm not too worried about. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on high and salt the water. And the salt should make everything a little softer. Not too much, cause you know, attack. Next thing I'm gonna do is I actually, like I said, I have been craving steak. Um, I have requests to do other things. I'm going to do them next week, as well as, hold on, wrong burner. I'm like, why is my elbow hot? <laughs> so I do have clothes to wear. Um, the issue that I was having last week, let me put this aside. Did I really throw the garlic wrapper away? How am I? Oh, you know what? I'll just stick it in the fridge. Was that the good one or the, no, that was, oh, I'll put them both in the fridge because I don't know which one is the good one. So, um, I've been having an issue for 10 days now. <laughs> So I will wear the new clothes. They're coming up, don't panic. I apologize for that. I have here some leftover garlic bouillon, which is really bottom of the barrel. So I am going to add some butter into this and I'm going to mix this with the butter and you will see why in a second. So I'm gonna add a little more butter to this and I'm just gonna really mix it up. Actually, hold on, before I mix it up, I'm gonna add a little more. I'm gonna actually put this in the microwave for 15 seconds, so if you can excuse me. Oh, hey, spoiled garlic from brown. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're craving that too here besides ribs? Oh, because that's my weakness. Yellow garlic going really bad. Spoiled garlic forms brown spots on the cloves and turns usually white from more yellow and brown. You'll wear them soon. Yes, I will. I promise. Let me put this in the microwave real quick. Ah, where's the button? Okay, I'm just microwaving that for 15 seconds in the jar. Um, I don't wanna wear new clothes when things are happening. Let's not discuss it. Like I said, I've just, for whatever reason, it's lasted 10 days. <laughs> um, okay, that should be better, better, better in a hot jar. Don't burn yourself or step on little kittens. So I'm just mixing this up with the butter. And I got that nice and mixed. If you want to see it, it's just softer. It's more liquid now and more plowable, which is what I want. And I'm really mixing this base. And then I'm going to grab my boiler pan. Now, when you use a boiler pan, and I actually just watched this hello on uh, the French chef the other day. She made the mention to make sure you always put the cap on it because if you don't things drip and catch fire <laughs> Which I can't imagine Somebody has been banned again. Wow. I don't know what y'all are doing over there So I've always thought that was common sense Apparently it's not so I'm not really worried about my steak today I feel like I do steak a lot and I don't want to do too much steak like I said I got another project coming next week, which is by request. Um, it's just that I'm craving steak. So the first thing I'm gonna do is one of my favorite things to do. Everybody knows what that is because you see my chopping board out. I am going to, you guys know what it is. I am going to beat my meat. Oh, hey, look, garlic hanger. As soon as I find my hammer. So the kids did dishes last night and not a good job. Give me a sec. So the kids did dishes and did not get this well done. <clears throat> So, 
There we go. I'm going to beat my meat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, um, what are they called? Coarse side and then fine side flip, do the same. And this 10 grams is the meat. Makes it juicier and gets the flavor in it more. And then I'm going to switch to the fine side because this is a three way hammer. You can use the flat side on garlic, launch it across the kitchen, as you've seen me do before. And I'm gonna flip. And I'm gonna do it again. So now that I have beat the meat, I'm going to throw that in the sink. I'm going to readjust my foam and I'm going to put the meat on, oh, excuse me, my broiler pan. So now the reason that I have changed up and mix the butter with the bouillon is I actually want my steak really really juicy tonight it's going to come into play a little bit later so what I'm going to do with this oh, don't need this don't need this I'm going to actually take this little mixture and I'm going to paint the steak with it let me Scoochie so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this on. And what I'm hoping for it to do is I want the steak really, really juicy and I want it to drip down. And make sure the pan is super clean when you do this because I'm actually going to use what comes off of it to make gravy for the mashed potatoes. So like I said, I really want this steak as juicy as I'm a potato. <clears throat> now before, hello, how's your day? I hope you're doing fine. I am doing great and I appreciate that. So got this nice and covered. If you guys want a better angle of what I am doing, I am also on YouTube. My YouTube description is there in the description of that live stream so now that I have my steak nice and coated like I said I want this to drip down to um, make kind of a base so I can actually save that I, which I'm gonna do and then I'm going to add some what's this here sauce because I want juicy juicy steak to make delicious gravy and then I'm whoa that almost hit my foot <clears throat> flying cutting board I'm going to add some liquid smoke this is a uh, hickory flavor not a lot okay now before I even touch the boiler you need to make sure it's in the right position which it is not and I'm actually putting this two down from the boiler because I'm a little worried about it overheating with the butter. So I've never tried this before. This should be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my boiler on just a smidge. My potatoes are starting to boil, if you can see that. So I'm actually going to start the timer at 15 minutes. Let me get that going. <clears throat> so I cut out the potatoes. I'm hoping that they go a little faster than normal because I cut them out. I actually, hold on. I have a vinegar weight. <laughs> what this is, is to keep the scent hound out of my trash can. So...
She's a good dog, but she just cannot resist stuff that she can smell. So I'll clean up my area some. Got the potatoes going. Let's talk about things because I have had, oh, hey, let me actually uh, give my potatoes a stir real quick. I will need this later. I can use the wooden spatula. Get down there and boil. And like I said, I'm just going to check it in 15 minutes and see how it looks. So, um, some things happened the other day. I really wanted to do a short Wednesday and I was unable to. So, I know I have said before on my channel, if you like what I do, please support me. I, um, my internet was out. And like I said, I'm really appreciated to, really appreciative of Andrew Ritchie and what he did for me. I was able to get my internet back on, which really saved me. And I love and appreciate. And this is a real situation where it might come a day that I cannot post. It might come a day that I have to shut the whole channel down. Food prices, America economics. If you're watching or know anything about it, please support me. <laughs> I would love it immensely because this is my passion and this is what I enjoy doing. And I feel like with everything that goes on nowadays, this is making weird sounds. With everything that goes on nowadays, it's very possible. What was that sound? Oh, that's this. I'm going to knock some water out of it. Okay. Um, <laughs> delicious food for you. Yep. Thank you. So with everything going on, it, it's getting really bad. We have a local Hugo, the health inspector inspector that's on a rampage at the same time people are losing their jobs people are getting sick everybody should know how to cook to some extent and i know there's a lot of adults in this day and age that don't so like i said i mean this is really it's really an important skill i forgot to butter the i forgot to do the boiler pan so i hope it doesn't stick oops so it's something, you know, it's a skill everybody should have in this day and age. <clears throat> so I got those potatoes going very nicely. You called us, you called us one day. Oh, okay. Hmm. So anywho, <laughs> it's it just, and like I said before, my grandmother couldn't cook. My dad grew up in that house. It's something that... It's shouldn't be just throw something in the microwave and you're done. And not only that, you can control who handles your food, what you do with your food. And as you've seen me before, can you answer my private messages? If I find them right now, this is not the time to talk about your private messages. If you want, you can go over to my YouTube channel. It is uh, Amber Burns Black and you can get a better picture. There's no crack on the screen and you can see what I'm doing. So, um, I completely lost my train of thought. So anyway, um, it's just something everybody should know how to do. And not only that, you control your food. As you've seen before, I have done some cross contamination. I'm cooking for my household. I'm washing up as soon as I'm done. Everything I cook is going in the same place. So, and I am hot. Hey, the food's awesome. It's cooking though, but it's awesome. It's going to taste great. So, like I said, just support me. Um, I have my PayPal and I have my Cash App in the description of the video for your use. And I love and appreciate it, guys. I, I was very heartbroken the last two days. Um, okay, your special issue can go to YouTube. Um, I was actually really heartbroken because while I was trying to explain my situation to people, a lot of guys were, what do I get out of this? And they were more concerned with what they could get out of me. And that's something that I find absolutely disgusting. And I hope nobody ever, oh, my YouTube, I am actually broadcasting right now on YouTube on another stream. 
so you can have a better angle of everything I'm doing and subscribe over there so you can know when I go live. So it's just um, <clears throat> people talking about what they could get out of me and it was it actually felt really bad. And I typically am such a happy-go-lucky person that I saw the underbelly of what people were really like, and that's not usually how I get treated. So <clears throat> anyway, soapbox time gone. I would have flipped out on them if they were asking what could they get. I call them a pig. Yeah, that's exactly, that is exactly what they are. I mean, I could show you the chats. I actually had somebody, um, he was sending me pics. Some of them I was recording. And I told him I don't have data for that. And he goes, well, send me a pic of your pussy. And I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> um, I wish you good luck, but don't forget to answer my private messages. Okay, your private message is really low on my uh, radar right now if you're going to keep interrupting my stream. So I've already asked you nicely two or three times. So thank you. Um, giving my potatoes a stir. And this is what I'm talking about. Like right here. Um, Somalio. It's I got something else going on. And they're more concerned with them than what I have going on. And this is. Um, and I do it sometimes. I'm not perfect. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not. I don't know what the private messages are, and the more they're brought up while I am live, the less important they are. <clears throat> so, that's my soapbox on human nature for the time being. I'm not sure how long these potatoes are going to take. They're going to take until they are soft. Is that... Okay, I mean, it sounds like something's bouncing in the oven and it's freaking me out. Give me one sec. Let me check the timer. Okay, I still have seven minutes there. I think something is <laughs> jumping in my oven, which I don't have mice, so I don't know what it would be. I've lived with mice. Do you know what it's like to have a mouse in the oven? I have lived, oh my gosh, I have lived some crazy places and I have experiences that nobody else could even deal with, and I have managed. And you know what I forgot to pull out from my mashed potatoes? I forgot to pull out my milk. And now that I'm sitting here waiting, I would like some milk. If I have enough chocolates and I have a little bit of chocolate, not a lot. Ooh. I can put this over here. Give me one sec, guys. Okay, got some milk, which I'm gonna leave my milk out for my potatoes. Chocolate milk when you're hot is just like, I don't know, it doesn't hydrate you exactly, but it cools you off and it feels, feels good. So, let me get my chocolate up in here. As you can see, I don't have a lot. Okay, and my spare phone has gone down to 5%, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kill for watching. Okay. <clears throat> Not a lot of chocolate. I just killed my chocolate. R.I.P. chocolate. Okay. So, hold on. Hey, guys. Aiden, can you plug me in? The charger's over at the dog box, please. Or, hey, Shy, can you get it? Uh, are you still like one I'm still live, baby. Uh, I will be down soon. You're really hungry? 
Well, I'm cooking dinner right now. That's perfect. So, let me check this real quick. Those are doing nicely. So good. Give my potatoes a stir. They are still firm. Garlic's soft. <laughs> so. That is that. So we are 30 minutes in. I'm quite happy. This meal is going to be absolutely delicious. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the seasoning on my steak. <clears throat> so, give me one sec. And I just have general run-of-the-mill steak seasoning that I forgot. I'm going to pull my steak out real quick. Put that back on. Whoa! <clears throat> Which, actually, go ahead and call these babies done. Now, normally you want to season before you put them in, but things happen. So let me get that real quick. I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, well. <clears throat> this looks like it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And that is everything moved down, but as you can see, some of my steak has curled up, which tells me that it is ready. And it's not brown brown, it's nice brown. So it's gonna be a little, little done, but not jerky. <clears throat> I did not time out my potatoes to steak too well. But hey, things happen. These are getting soft-ish, not really. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my steak to a plate and get attacked by my broom. So let me move my steak over here. I'm going to kind of shake them out. What I'm doing is I want that liquid. <clears throat> Don't want to dry them out. If they could dry, we have A1. That's what A1's for. Okay. I'm going to check under here. Like I said, make sure this is really, really clean before you try this. There's some nice juice in there, which I'm going to use as soon as this pan cools. And I'm going to make gravy with that for the mashed potatoes. And like I said, the pan has to cool. So let me actually take this and put this in the sink. Come on. All right, 15 minutes. These potatoes are quite hard. So I'm going to give them another 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes should do it. Let's see where we're at with the potatoes. OK, 
Okay. Now I can move this to the sink. And like I said, the steak is juicy, which is what I wanted, but I was really hoping that the juice We're good. I was really hoping that the juice would kind of uh, seep out a bit, but if not, we have more bouillon. <clears throat> So let me clean up just a bit. So I have another little pan here and I'm going to transfer this to this pan. Actually, let me, or pot, not a pan, excuse me. And if you want, you can add more beef stock and water, which I'm actually, I think I might do. That's not a lot of liquid. I was hoping for some more, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I'm going to add this to it. Looks like that's tapped out. So I'm going to add... <clears throat> another just a tablespoon of more bouillon gel which is brand new and then i'm going to add about a cup of water and then i'm going to heat it up and i'm going to add flour and of course brand new jar does not want to open there we go nice gel I'm gonna put that in there. Just a fork through a fork full, which yeah, it's only a teaspoon. So a little more than a teaspoon is gonna be a little little heavier, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some hot water, about a cup, which I just kind of guessed how I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on high. I'm going to let that heat up while I dig out my flour. Oh, crap. Where? <laughs> it is all the way up top. You, oh, my God. Okay. So this is going to be a while. <laughs> I should have thought about that in the beginning. And like I said, crazy day, guys. Crazy day. There it is. It wasn't all the way up top, it was all the way in the back. <clears throat> so I got some flour here. I want it boiling and then I'm gonna add the flour to make it gravy for the mashed potatoes, which the potatoes are getting soft. I'm going to add about, mm, let's see, after this timer goes off, it would have been 25 minutes. I'm going to add another five minutes. That should give me some soft potatoes. Now I'll stir this until it boils. And like I said, this is just bouillon, the juice that I managed to get off the steak and water. And you can also add other things to season the gravy. I am actually considering something. <clears throat> 
but I don't know what. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary to it, which would be a nice little kick. And there's some steak seasoning that somehow got transferred, but that's okay. It's just a happy little accident. So go ahead and stir this till it boils. It's almost boiling if you can see it. You can see that it's definitely steaming. So it's starting to have a little pulse to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some flour. And as I add the flour, I'm gonna keep stirring it. Just slowly so it doesn't clump. Of course it comes out clumpy. Just a little. Make it thicker. But I'm just guessing at it right now. I'm using a fork to kind of break it up. So that's going to be my nice little garlic beef gravy for my potatoes. Like I said, chunk it up because it came out chunky. Actually, better than the fork. Oh, hey, happy little accident, she says. Yeah, okay, I can use cornstarch, but I don't have cornstarch. Least your seasoning, it's better late than never, exactly. Um, flipped out, pig. Then your seasoning, beef stock, and a bit of cornstarch. Oh, message retracted. I thought I turned that thing off. Apparently, I did not. So I'm going to actually pull this off the burner. It is boiling. And just stir it to really get those clumps out. Is it the burner that's burning? Ooh, that's hot gravy. Okay. And if it's clumpy, it's clumpy. It's not totally the end of the world. It's just annoying. There we go. Got that clump. Okay. And now I'm actually looking at the potatoes and it's starting, the water is actually evaporating off of them. Oh, they are getting soft. Perfect. And this rosemary that I've added to this gravy is awesome. So there's a little resistance when I stir, but you want the gravy kind of thick, so that's perfect. So I'm actually going to move this over here on a cooler burner, which I've already turned my boiler off. Put my whisk away. And let me check these taters. Oh, they are breaking up perfectly. Oh, no, no, they're not. Some of them are. And like I said, I really wanted that red because I do want kind of like the red bits in it to give it some color and flavor. So while I have that on the side, I can go ahead and I'm going to start forking it again rather than the whisk because I already threw the whisk in the... <clears throat> sink. So that's nice. Almost perfect, not too perfect, but hey, it goes for my style. Kitchen timer has six more minutes left. I am hot. <laughs> but I'm also excited. I'm, I'm really excited to see how these potatoes turn out. So, um, I gotta wait for it to soften, I guess. I don't want to mash them too much until, actually, I'm going to put this in the oven to keep it hot. I'm going to grab a little cold. Okay, and I'm giving the gravy a stir as it's sitting, it's thickening, which is perfect. I love this consistency. This is how gravy should be. It's still clumpy, but 
Like I said, I can just beat the clumps out. Mm. It smells fantastic. This is probably the best gravy I've ever made. I don't make gravy often, but hey, it works. You can see it kind of like a, you can see the feet around the edge over the steam. Perfect. And the potatoes are evaporating. A lot of the water is getting soaked in. Um, another four minutes, I think. I don't know, because the timer goes away until I hit the button. Another four minutes, and that should be ready. Let's see. I'm actually wondering, there we go, Let's see if I can get some of that, no, not worth it, okay, and the timer is, yep, about four minutes and 30 seconds left, I've actually, I've really enjoyed this meal, <laughs> I haven't even gotten it done yet, I just, ah, uh, I've been craving steak for a while, <laughs> so I'm really, Happy to have some steak. Let me um, put my flour away before I forget. Not lose it in the back of the cabinet again. Because you can tell how much I do baking. <clears throat> and they're starting to come up out of the water. And they are getting squishable. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to call these done. I have a little thingy here. I'm going to actually drain the potatoes. I just want that liquid out of them. So I got most of the liquid out of them. I'm going to actually put them on for another minute to try to evaporate the rest out. So give me a minute. I'm sorry, I'm silent, I'm counting. Actually, what I can do is let me get a bowl. That would actually help, right? Brain shutty downy. <laughs> So I've already mashed some of these, just checking to see how soft they are. And they're soft. So I still have the garlic bulbs in here too. And yeah, I did a pretty good job of getting the water out. There's not a lot in there. So let me get my potatoes. Turn the burner off. Now I'm gonna add some butter as if this meal doesn't have enough butter. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Because I want my potatoes to be smooth. And I'm going to start mashing. And you can see how easily it just mashes right away. Get in there and beat the spuds. Now they're a little chunky, so I'm going to add just a bit of milk. Not too much, just a little. And then I'm going to mash it up again. Oh, that made it mud. So let me take my fork, 
clear this off and I'm going to whip them up. Actually, I might grab that whisk out of the sink. Oh, that's perfect. Got me some nice mashed potatoes here. With the red added a really nice color to them. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna give them one more mashing. And that's perfect, they're making little noodles in my potato masher. And this is going through perfectly, just in time. <laughs> so, got that. And I'm just scraping these so I don't lose my mashed potatoes. And usually I do two veggies, but I'm tired and hungry. So these are gonna have to do. So with my mashed potatoes, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some chives and some parsley for color and flavor. Actually gonna add a little more chive than that. Woo! Ooh, too much chive. And then some parsley. Ooh, I can really smell those chives. And then some parsley. So that's going to add some green to my mashed potatoes. If I put the parsley up there, I'll never find it. And then I'm going to take the fork and whip it again. I'll try to scrape the bowl while I go. Now here's the inside joke. Oh, wait, 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 is that mash them up? Don't forget the buttered garlic powder. Um, I already added garlic when I boiled the potatoes. And yeah, there's, there is no such thing as too much chives, you're right. So here's my mashed potatoes. It's white, you can see the greens, you can see the reds. It's got some nice color to it. Let me get my serving plates. Actually, okay. So, is this hot? Can I touch that? No, I cannot touch that. Okay. Oh. So, let me see how everything is. My steak is absolutely gorgeous. If you want to see. Yeah, I got more juice off of it, of course. Here is my beautiful, beautiful steak. And some of my beautiful gravy that's starting to get a little sticky. Can you see my plate? No, you cannot see my plate. Let me go down here. And it's getting clumpy again. That's totally my bad. But it works. So, get me some mashed potatoes. And what I like to do is I like to make a little hole in my potatoes. And then I have some gravy. chunky for the gravy but it is gravy so first let me try me steak because I know everybody is dying to know what the inside of steak looks like and I'm actually gonna give this this isn't the steak I want <laughs> I'm gonna give this plate to my kid so it's little brown, not as pink as I'd like. So actually, let me pass this off real quick. Aiden! Food! Climate change on the other side of this curtain. Please hurry. Thank you, Bob. Shy, I got yours in a minute too, okay? Good job, dog. I just cut a piece out. 
So let me grab this one. This is the one I want. This is the one that I have been eyeballing. Woo, hot plates. You know what though? I can risk it. Wait, honey, almost done. I'm gonna mix that into my gravy. I don't think it's too late to do that. I know, I know. I got you in a minute. Thin it out just a wee bit. Okay, some mashed potatoes. Okay. You can see the red looks really good in it with the green. It's actually kind of festive. Way out of season, but festive. I'm gonna add my gravy. Let me get a fork and knife. Okay, first I'm gonna try the steak. If it needs A1, it needs A1. Doesn't mean you failed. Just A1's delicious. So here's the steak, cooked like the other one. Mmm, that's really good. But now the real try, my mashed potatoes and gravy. Mmm, the steak is actually really juicy. Better than I expected. Steak's a little tough. Just a little. Mmm. Mashed potatoes and gravy are perfect. Um, great flavor, fresh. Everything you want in mashed potatoes, even the chunks. That's why you do it from scratch. Because here's the joke. I can't do it with a box, but I can do it from scratch. <laughs> when I try box potatoes, they turn out clumpy and flavorless. Yes, disgusting. So I love you guys. <laughs> Saw the title of this video and thought you ought to name a restaurant if you own one. Yeah, there we go. Taters and moo. So I love you guys. I will see you next week. If you like what I do, please subscribe. If you really like what I do, please support me. I don't want my channel to go dark again. Stay gorgeous, guys.